All right. Hope you guys find me. <laughs> I had to end that because I don't know what happened and I didn't know how to fix it. So I'm hoping you guys, there you are. <laughs> Jeez, what happened? Is it user error? <laughs> More than likely. Yeah, you. Are they all waiting for me, Michelle, over in the other stream? If so, could you go over there and say I'm tell them I'm over here? Please. Ah, there you are. <laughs> I don't know what happened. Did I go black? Or do you, do you guys stay on the same? Look at new notifications. That was weird. Very strange. Hmm. Huh. Don't know. No, I couldn't see anybody chatting or nothing. It was, like, weird. Uh, Painty Girl got her camera going. Oh! Let's see if she wants to. Well, I suppose I have to get a new. Now, how do I do that? Um, share screen, I guess. No, that's not it. Um. Uh, and so invite ah, no 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 um Um, paste. There. Here you go. If she comes back on. I think your chat may be frozen we, because we could still see and hear you. Huh, weird. There she is. Weird. There she is. Weird. I don't know what else to... There she is. Look. Gotta mute here. Gotta mute here. to collect screen. choose what you'd like to share I don't know what to collect choose what you'd like to share what mm, to collect sharing tab to start <laughs> That's not what I want to do. Oh, well. I. 
not working i don't know how to i can hear you and i can see your screen but i don't know how to get my screen to come live it didn't ask me allow again i don't know I can hear you and I can see your screen, but I don't know how to get my screen to come um, up. It didn't ask me allow again. I don't know how to, I can hear you. Can you mute your screen? I don't know how to get my screen to come um, up. It didn't ask me allow again. I don't know how to, I can hear can you. Can you mute your screen? I don't know. Yeah, I don't know on YouTube. I'm just on screen here. So that's why. If you're on YouTube and Facebook, that's why you get the effort. So you need to mute your YouTube. Yeah. I don't know if it comes on, but okay, so. Um, so I got I found my phrase and I found I'm going to my crazy room back here. I found this the uh sticky in the code. If you figure it out, just uh, get hold of me and we can figure it out. This is some regular tissue, and I was wondering, would it run? <laughs> Yes, I did dust it off. It's still a little dusty. <laughs> I was wondering if regular tissue, will it? You never know. Maybe all tissue does that. This is kind of pale, but you could give it a go. <laughs> so I thought we could try it. No, Kathy sounds making a come up for me. Does? Does everyone else? Does it sound funny? Shouldn't. I haven't changed anything. Lost the thread. Oh, yeah, you tried it. I tried it. I'll just take a couple pieces and see. probably use some of it to put the bleeding tissue on. That might be cool. Let's take a piece. Okay. Uh, now, did I bring my water? I bet I didn't. I had everything but water. Let me see. Um, water. A little bit of water here. Do I have my? Hmm. I didn't pull out my heat gun. Where the heck would I put that thing? Uh, hmm. I don't know where I put my heat gun. <laughs> Jeez, this could be a disaster. I thought I had it out. I don't see it. Hmm. Well, I'm going to just spray these. See what happens.
Now audio is fine. Now there is a delay between streams and chat. And oh, okay. Thanks, Lena. No, it's not doing nothing. Nothing. Well, yeah, nothing. That ain't going to happen. So, got some tissue here. I don't even know what this is from, whether this was bleeding tissue or not. Oh, no. So I know you can get white bleeding tissue. Now, here's some dilution spray. So let's see what happens when we play with this. Oh, these are probably going to be clogged. Yep. Soak it in. Oh. Yeah, it's coming through so I'm going to put this over here and let it dry because I don't know where my freaking <laughs> oh boy I'm putting it on my bar While that's drying, i cut this so it's a little more manageable.
Yeah, those colors are really awesome. Yep, they're not permanent. We'll just cut some, a strip. Oh, these are the one, most wonderful scissors in the world. I don't even know why I bought this stuff. <laughs> it's probably something that you said, Eileen. <laughs> some longer ones all right now I'm gonna place these I'm leaving that black that's kind of cool greens do I'm kind of um, watching where I put my colors so I don't wind up with too much mud. should I do put a stencil on it or yeah I think I'm gonna put a stencil on let's see stencil out. Big, fairly big stencil.
You could try the drop of alcohol. <laughs> Understood you. <laughs> I understand that language. <laughs> um, I'm going to put this one on top first. And then I'll do the alcohol. Just see what we get. stuff <laughs> oh god i need a drying rack um alcohol where did i put that i had it out here there it is Do I have a pipette somewhere? Don't know. Hmm. Find a pipette. Or a real soppy brush. I have a spray, but I think I'm just going to, this is only 70%. I have, let's see what it does. And you put this on top. Gives it more, it's, it's less, takes the color out of it, so it makes it paler. I'm going to lift this whole thing up. And I'm going to put this down and I'm going to flip it onto the paper. Then, it's a deli. I don't get my hands all gummy. <clears throat> That gives it all the lines. That's kind of cool. So if we took this, took off the, which side is it? Can't even tell which side they're on now. <laughs> Oh, I guess I'd have to.
put, um, let's see what alcohol does to it now. And then I'll dry it. I'm going to spray it. I know you're not supposed to spray, but I'm going to. Just to see what it does. this one yeah it is this side all right hmm, came off i'm just gonna throw it on to another you could probably map medium this all these little squares if you wanted to because they're kind of cool Hard taking it off when it's wet. The black is really black. It's um it's not blue or anything, it's black, which is interesting. Oh, stuck. Stuck on good. Here we go. It's very, very, very pale when it goes on the uh, tissue. There. All right, let's try the other way around with the stencil on first. Is this boring? <laughs> I'll keep that for... And you did tell it. Yeah. So if we put this down first, and then throw these on top, the thing is to overlap, or you don't get any combinations of colors Hard separating them. All right. 
I once glued down some tissue when I went over it with just so it picked up the color and it looked awesome. Yeah, yeah, it's cool. Not the greatest spray bottle here, but. that <laughs> it just turned into mud <laughs> mud plus it uh, ate my tissue interesting There. <laughs> oh dear. What else? Let's spray. <laughs> Why not? If it goes in, no, oh, that's cool. Not showing it. My my uh, color is off. It's bright green. Hmm. Got an idea. Aqua. May look horrible, but I'm trying it. Get some of it. Okay, let's take up. I did leave lines in the. It's kind of cool, actually. And I added over top of a piece of paper. That one guy. Neat. See, it's showing black, and this is green. That's weird. Let me see if I can fix my color. Because uh, that does not look right. What's with all the little squigglies? Are you guys seeing that? I mean, my chroma is off. Hmm. Yes. Okay. There we go. 
That's what it looks like. <laughs> Better? Oh, shoot. There. Now you see it? That's much better. I'll take these off. had it on the wrong chroma so it was making that fuzzy looking <laughs> stuff It's not as messy. That's cool. I just rolled the stencil on top. Let's see. So here was the tissue one. I'll show you the other one. This one. That was kind of cool. So you do get some bleeding. This is a double, too. So once it's dry, it'll be probably lighter, I would ah, I think. But you could use these in any kind of uh, collage. That's kind of cool. Well, that one dry. And there was this one. I like the blue and the green together. It's pretty. I'm gonna put white under it. There we go. See? This was the first one. Let's open it and see what happened. It 
Oh, no, it's not gonna, not dry enough. Not dry enough, it's splitting. Let's go and see. I'll get the other one that we did. Still wet. That's the um, sprays. Needs to dry a little bit. This one's a little. So let me dry these and then we'll see if they re wet, if it works the same. Those are cool. Now, what else can we do? How about it's a matte medium? Um, uh, yep, matte medium. And then see where's that stencil? We'll use the same stencil. that dry. I wish I knew where I put my freaking <laughs> Okay, is that did I just do that side or was it the other side? Mm, must have been that side. Put this down. Let me get this matte medium. Welcome, Michelle. A bunch of I think that's dry. Then I'm gonna put a bunch of wonder if we crinkle them. them and see what happens. All different.
All right. Another piece of paper. This squeezes the water out. It might make some mud, but we'll see. Take that off. Then This is like a new form of mono printing. <laughs> cool and find the figures and stuff and make drawings out of it that would be cool and you could do it all in one color if you wanted to I already see people I see faces there that's cool I like that one do another one This has got some matte medium on it. Let's see what it does. So it shouldn't go on to the matte medium. It's just a lighter. You can see the mat, where the matte medium was. All right, and then That's cool. Gives it a different look. All crumpled. That's neat. Look at my hands. Oh, where's my darn? Let me see if I can find it in the bathroom, guys. I'll be right back. I can't find it. at one grapple hatch. Found it. Let me plug it in.
All right. Now I can dry this so you can see if it works. All right, nice and crinkly now. <laughs> okay, let me clean this up a bit so I don't re-wet it yet. All right. Pretty. So that is the dilution sprays. So let's take some bits. Stuff to cut it just doesn't want to rip very easily. But look at that, isn't that pretty? Let's see if they will re wet. Yeah, looks like it is. <laughs> spray, spray. Oh, yep. Rewets. So you can. You can do it. If you want to make your own. So I guess the longer you keep it on the paper, the more the ink will come out on it. That's cool. So 
they're lighter than what they really are showing on camera. They're actually quite dark. They're quite bright. Not quite as bright as this, but they are bright. So you can make your own. That's neat. There you go. Another way to use your dilution sprays. try it's a muddy but oh well use it up it's really make a mess Yeah, this is just copy paper, ordinary printer paper. Just smush it up, <laughs> play it down with a roller, and then see what you get. See if we can get it up. So I put matte medium on so it's stuck. So just tear away bits of it. See what you get. And you get texture too. So if you want to leave some of it on, you could.
You could actually sculpt like a hat. Yeah, you could. <laughs> so more water, the less wrinkles. So it's a new way of mono printing with, with tissue. got you know bits of tissue you can either take it off or or you could do a really thick layer of matte medium let it dry completely and then uh, do this over top and I would imagine where the matte medium or gloss medium maybe isn't it'll print but where the gloss medium is I wonder if we oh I got an idea what if we use a piece of tissue i'm going to get the mat medium mode again Now I'm going to put some squares on top of this. I don't want to use the black anymore. All right, now I'm going to spray it.
So I'm letting it soak on its own. Let's see what happens when you just don't press it down. We just let it seep. I will put just for the heck of it, put the stencil on it. Now, let's see what we can do. Just peel it up. Ooh, I know what I'm going to do. Let's throw it on here. Never know what you're going to get. I like it when it's crinkled. You get all these neat marks.
there. So then you could brush this down with uh, matte medium and have a textured uh, background. That'd be cool. I like these. And then you could find stuff in them. Where was that other one? That almost looks like a jellyfish. Yeah, this one. These were cool. They were all scrunched up papers. So it was the last couple pulls. Let's see what we can find in them. Uh, here, I'll bring you guys in. Right. Right here, I see a face. Um, let's see, Pete. We could do so. There's a little a cloak on of some sort. It's all bundled up. <laughs> Where else? See a little face here. You look for little things where you can actually take a pencil crayon or colored pencils and um, shade out areas so it looks neat. You can do that in all kinds of, I've seen a number of people do it. You look for fish or whatever you're searching for. could be big. Or it could be tiny. This could be a face. The nose. Oh, for freaking sakes, I did it again. Oh. 
my back. I keep pressing the wrong button. Yeah, so different ways of doing it. So this could be all like a top of a jellyfish here. You saw a bunny? There's probably all kinds of stuff. It's neat. <laughs> There's a dog. See a well, our little creature guy. There's a little he's got a frown on. There's his nose. His eye. You could do the other uh, like a monster. <laughs> There's a bird. Part of one anyways. Just bring it down into here. Neat. All right, that's all I could think of, guys. <laughs> I've had enough. Is this good enough of a mess for you, Eileen? <laughs> so we experimented with dilution sprays. We found out, yes, they can be re wet. They're pretty. I like them on tissue. But the only problem is they will reactivate. You're welcome. So next week, um, probably go into shading, maybe? In drawing, and then um, we'll see what else I can dream up. <laughs> You're welcome, Eileen. <laughs> now I'm going to spend days trying to get this stuff off. Oh, my gosh, and it's Thanksgiving. <laughs> Sweet hand. <laughs> oh, dear. So have a great weekend, everybody, and anyone in Canada. Happy Thanksgiving, and we'll see you next week. <laughs> Bye.